welcome to our channel. Before we get started, let me explain what this video is. This is the sneak peek to our Carnival Vista cruise vlogs. What that means is it's not the actual cruise vlogs. This is where it replaces our standard weekly vlog. I'm out of practice, I'm sorry. I haven't gotten to say this very much in the last 15 months, so bear with me. So, we will go get coffee in the morning. We will see sunrises, sunsets. We will chit chat, we will get ready together. We will talk about what I'm wearing, outfits of the day, little tidbits and sneak peeks of the cruise. I'll show you little bits and pieces of the ports of the ship, of things like that. It simply replaces our weekly vlog. It's designed to get you excited and ready for the standard cruise vlogs. And also give me a little bit of time to get them together and upload it. <laughs> so, if you are here for the regular cruise vlogs, you will find those right up here in an iCard on the, right up here over my left shoulder. And if you do not see that iCard, that means the videos are not up yet. I will put the link there as soon as the videos are live. Okay, but I invite you to stick around and watch this video. They are longer. It's seven days crammed into one video. And um, a lot of you really like this video and thank you so much. I always appreciate your time. So that's all we're gonna do in this video is just get a sneak peek, okay? So I'm very excited. We are super excited about being back on Carnival Vista. You guys know we love cruising out of Galveston. Obviously, it's super easy. So, yes, so this will be our third time on Carnival Vista. So, if you want to see those vlogs, I'll link them up here. So, well, the previous two. Can't see this one yet. Well, maybe you can. Anyway, so, thank you so much for joining us. Subscribe before you go. And, uh, or stick around and watch the rest of this video and subscribe, subscribe when you're done. Whatever. Again, out of practice. And we will see you along the way. May not see you until later on on the ship. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know, but we're definitely going to see you. So, we'll see you in just a bit. Are you Robert I'm doing quite well thank you wow what a day it's now 558 in 17 minutes we're gonna go downstairs and try and get that charm if you don't know what I'm talking about you got to watch the live okay it's the Pandora charm and I think it's specific to Vista so we are a sticky hot sweaty mess we came to the room to unpack I still got to tidy up up here but we are mostly unpacked and um, cooled off we're just going to take a shower before bed. We were going to take one before dinner, but really we just don't really have time between getting to the shop. Dinner is any time dining for us, but to get to the shops, get that, get anyway. We just didn't get unpacked. We just didn't have time. So I ran the hair dry through my hair, tidied up, you know, you know, cleaned up and freshened up and uh, put on a pound of perfume. And so now we are about to go downstairs and go to the Pandora shop and uh, see what we can see and hopefully get the charm. I really hope I can get it. I don't know how many they have and I really, really want one. So anyway, this room is nice and cool and comfortable. All right, so quick peek outside, then I'm gonna run downstairs and we are gonna try and get that Pandora charm. You'll know, I'll tell you. Oh, I didn't go over my makeup, but it's all listed down in the description box for you. I love this eye palette, absolutely love it. I love the new sparkle top coat I have found for my eyes. It's unbelievable. Uh, it may even beat my Charlotte Tilbury palette of pops. And on my lips is a Clinique pop shade, and I will leave that linked for you as well. I absolutely love the Clinique pops. So there we go. There's outside. You can see we overlook this. 
So our coffee chats, I don't know, there might be somebody out there. Maybe we'll just go down there and have a coffee chat in the morning. I don't know. We'll see. So there we go. All right. I'll see you in a minute. All right, you guys. There they are. You see them right there? Okay. I love this song. You guys. Oh, my goodness. He's going to pull a few out for us to see. Is it just you two guys on board or the family? No, nope, just us. Oh, I like the globe one. That one's so cool. There's the ship. Oh, I love Pandora. Right. This is Larry. Hello. He took is Barry. That for the family? For the vlog. Okay. Life with Favor on YouTube. YouTube. Oh, nice. YouTube. Nice. Yes. Hello. He's new to the carnival family. Hello. So we have to welcome him. We are very, very excited to have him. He's all the way from Australia. I'm from Peru, actually. Oh! Well, see, I was wrong, but very glad that he's here. Thank you so much for Thanks helping me. No problem, my pleasure. He's a very good salesman. <laughs> I came in for one, I left with four. Four. <laughs> see, he did his job, Carnival. <laughs> Shop. We're gonna go into all the shops you guys, but right now we're looking to see if anything's on sale. Definitely need an ornament. Oh so many oh that's what we need. I love it. Ooh, snack snacks. Ooh, ooh, yummy Reese's peanut butter cups. Mmm, in case you don't eat enough on the ship, they got plenty of snacks for you. Oh you guys collection oh, look look oh my goodness is that a rash guard oh my goodness look at look, look. the towels oh i love the cooler the cutting board look you guys you see the ships oh oh look at this shirt that's a great shirt Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the board shorts. Or swimming trunks. This stuff. Where are they? Nothing's on sale, huh? This is what I need. Ooh, nothing's on sale, you guys. Where? What? Oh, I love that one. Look at that coffee mug. I like that one. <gasps> Look at that one. Rob, you need that one. Yeah. Not right now. No? Two for 30. That's what they are. Don't they go two for 20? Or... Yeah, but they're port day shirts. Those are different. You should get that, honey. Look at this one. He, he ran off. I need to get a hoodie. Not that kind. I usually get the zip up kind, not the pullover kind. I get the zip up kind. Here you go. Oh, short shorts. Booty shorts. No. No, Robert. The answer is no. Fit? No. another carnival ship out there she's way out there but she's out there we think it's breeze oh look how calm the water is oh it's just gorgeous we're so tired it is i've already it's 10 48 <laughs> we just got out of the i just got out of the shower rob's in the shower now what a day. Dave and Brandy sent us chocolate covered strawberries. We have a note in the room from Tina Spencer. She sent us a gift that will be delivered on, on day three. I, you guys touch my heart. You're so, so sweet. 
Um, I poloed Dave and Brandy, and I don't know if it went through, so I'm worried. I'm worried that they don't know how appreciative I am. So I'm going to message them, but it's late. I don't want to message them on Messenger. I don't want to wake anybody up, you know. So my beautiful charms, uh, the new ones. I'll put a picture of it right up here. But um, I now have two. I have two bracelets. I don't remember where I got. I think it was Key West. I bought the second bracelet. One of them is my family bracelet, like from me, Rob, the kids, and the other one is my travel bracelet, cruising bracelet type thing. So, anyway, I pull my hair up, <laughs> wash my face. My face is still um, covered in hives from the last cruise, and this one is just going to exacerbate the situation. But that's okay. So I'll be home for like six weeks, so maybe it'll clear up before we go on magic. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the morning for coffee. Good morning. It is 5.57 a.m. Sunday the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. We are looking for the Lido deck. So I ordered room service. It came that they're like literal on what you order. So you, I talked so much yesterday that my voice is cracked. Let's make sure there's no one. I think it's 10, yeah, 10. Anyway, um, they brought me, Frank brought me my coffee with cream, no sugar, um, and, <coughs> excuse me, and they brought gluten-free toast and some fruit. Great, but no butter. So let's see what we can find out here. Robert and I, oh, we fogged up. Kiss the pool's right there. No, hold on. All right, Robert and I practiced this last night, so I have nowhere to go. We walked right past it. It's over here, hold on. Oh, thank goodness. I'm gonna grab a few of these so I have them. And yeah, coffee is out. All right, we're going straight back to the room so I'll make my coffee there. So yeah, this is where we came in. I'm trying not to get lost. <laughs> so I don't wanna disturb the buffet for lunch. So, I mean for butter. They did bring jam so I'll just Normally I just take the, the stairs. I haven't had a cup of coffee yet. What a floor six. I haven't had a cup of coffee yet. So we're gonna go back to the room and I'll chat with you on the balcony once we have some sun. Tech six. Tech six. I love her beautiful accent and voice. So we're gonna go to the room. Oh, yes. Can I go to the room? So beautiful out this morning. It is overcast and cloudy, but it's gorgeous. It doesn't matter. The boat, so the ship, excuse me, was a little bumpy last night. Not, not too much, but they kind of said to us in the breakfast, oh, the camera, hang on. Well, we're fogged up on the inside lens. So they said to us at dinner last night to be careful. The ship was rocking a little bit, but I really didn't notice it. So uh, let's let the camera adjust and then I'll come back to you. There we go. Now the camera is much better, and Robert has joined us. Good morning. He's up this morning. Oh, there's that yucky stuff, the scargasm or whatever. Sargasm. Sc sar whatever it's called. Sargasm, yeah. So, floating. But we have found the beautiful blue water. So, where are we on our way to, Rob? Roatan. Roatan, Honduras. So, one of Rob's favorite ports. So, and we're going slow. I mean, <laughs> well, relatively speaking. So. Very calm water. Yeah. So, it was, it's just, and it's so quiet. No. Here, I'll let you just listen to the water. Or the wind, whichever. I have a little cover on my microphone, but I don't know if that helps any out here. So, 
anyway there's something out there it's white I can't tell what it is it's probably an oil rig there were a couple of oil rigs out this early early this morning so that's probably what those are but and if it is wow is it far out there I mean and there's a white dot right in the middle Wow, for me to be able to see it and Robert not, that's pretty impressive. I don't know how I see it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, anyway. Okay, you guys. We will see you in a little bit with outfit of the day. All right, so we are going to go have a fun day on the ship and we will check in with you and we will see you. Woo! See you in a minute. <laughs> Hope for floor 10. It's the Lido deck. Good morning. Let's get some coffee. I made it. Oh, I do this every time. I have to go right here. We have the live chat this morning for coffee. Couldn't sleep. coming with me this morning. One will probably be consumed before I get back to the room. Alright, I need both hands. I'll see you in a second. Okay, it's about an hour later. It's 6.15. I came and put my camera outside so that it would acclimate to the temperature. Hang on. Good morning. We are on the wrong side of the ship for the, mor for the sunrise. But we still get the morning pinks and blues. Oh, it's so It'll go through in the morning when we're in port. So, and then I'll use up all my data. Oh, isn't it gorgeous, you guys? It's just beautiful, breathtakingly beautiful. So we're gonna go off and have a great day. And, um, you know, we have had a little fruit for breakfast mm -hmm. and that's about it. Cause we were, and yeah. And a little bacon. Cause seriously, just there's, but we couldn't go the whole day without eating. We wanted to catch some breakfast fruit and have plenty of time before dinner. And we did. So, um, and I talked about having a little trouble with Kachina this morning. They did yesterday. They called, we went and talked to them. Everything's been worked out. 
thankfully. I don't think the young lady who was helping us just knew what was going on. Maybe I didn't talk about it in this vlog. Maybe I talked about it in the other vlog. But um, we went to pre-order for Tina last night and she just said no at every t turn. You know, we can't do that. We can't do that. We can't do that. You can't have this. You can't have that. And I was like, but, you know, we've been to Kachina several, several times. One of the meals I look forward to the most on, on the ships that have Kachina. And they always spoil me. It's, it's always fantastic, amazing chicken parm, arancini, all sorts of different things. And she just kept telling me, no, they couldn't do it. So I was so disappointed. And they had lost our reservation. Anyway, so they called this morning. All the kinks had been worked out. We went and spoke with the chef who took the order and just double checked with him everything is good and I asked if I could have a double order of arancini which is why I'm not eating all day long because I will be an arancini by the time dinner is over this evening I love them and they took the risotto off the menu ah but that's okay I told them just give me whatever I don't care you make me whatever you want to make me as long as arancini is in front of me I'll be happy <laughs> all right you guys totally serious it's your fault I blame you because I asked in the live and you told me to do it so it's called peer pressure it's called social media pressure it's FOMO. called FOMO I'm just kidding I accept no responsibility for my actions when shopping, when shopping. <laughs> I'm just kidding so I did show this to you on the live I talked to you guys about this on the live and um you truly did send me over the edge in my decision to purchase. So, <laughs> so I am going to show you now. And um, it was fun. It was expensive, but it was necessary. Not really, but let's go. Y'all know me. Now this is a Carnival Vessel series. I was in line at the coffee shop simply to vlog things, not to buy any coffee. And I happened to see this sitting up on the display. Y'all know I collect the Starbucks mugs. Look at this. Now, going forward, every ship I'm on, I'm gonna have to come home with one of these. I hope they have them on um, Magic, and I hope that they have them on what is the name of that ship, honey? Mardi, Mardi Gras. Gras. Y'all, I don't know why I can't remember the name Mardi Gras. It just, it's not natural to me to call the ship Mardi Gras. I don't know why. Here is the Carnival Fun Ship Speaker. I'm very excited about that. It will go in the pool. I will show it all to you in a weekly vlog. You just wait. It's going to have pride of place in my pool. Next, this. Y'all know I collect Lego? had to have it. It's not Lego, but it's a construction toy. I don't care. I now have the MSC, I now have Royal Caribbean, and now I have Carnival. All I need next is Norwegian. Then we have this. It's a Christmas. Whoops, come off of there. You're in the way. I'm vlogging here. Here is this Christmas ornament. That is the Carnival Vista. So now we have to start this new collection as well. We used to be, they were like little plastic ships um, and those are fine too. If we happen to find those, they're actually easier to get home and so those will work too. And that is it in there. And then, let me get these straightened up, hold on. This sweatshirt was $10 off, so it was $19.99. It's pink, I told you I wanted red. They didn't have red, but the pink will do. It will match, it'll be just fine, it's close enough. And then this one, Carnival Never Stop Exploring, Go With The Waves. Vista, I love this. I think it's fantastic. It's not my sparkly Carnival Cruise Line shirt, but it will do. I'll just need to preserve my Carnival Cruise Line shirt and take very good care of it. And get a little naughty. Rob has pointed this shirt out to me many times on many Carnival ships, and we decided to get it today. They were two for 30, so we got them. And yesterday I bought a hoodie. Oops, yesterday I bought a hoodie because I told you I needed a hoodie for the ship. They didn't have any red ones like I wanted. Um, that's all right. Hold on. I prefer red, white, pink, or blue. And they had a navy blue one, but I didn't really want the navy blue, so I got the gray. Carnival Vista. It's super fuzzy and soft. And now I have one. So 
I have one for every cruise line and I'm good. Well, not MSC. And then they had this little bracelet. It's not gonna fit me, but we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. Little bracelet and all the charms. And I will take a picture of all the charms laid out and put it on the screen right here. And apparently you're supposed to collect a charm for every day. Um, I'm not gonna be buying something every day. So um, I believe that this will be it. <laughs> So, um, we'll have to look at these. I'll look at these in a minute, but like I said, I put a picture. Okay, so I'm going to put all of this stuff away, and thankfully, we are at our home port, so all I have to do is carry this stuff off the ship in the bag. I don't have to worry about cramming this into luggage. <laughs> so, um, we are going to go, you know, back around the ship. Let me show you outside, though. It's gorgeous. Every time I've shown you, it's been overcast, so let me show you. Oops. Let me show you. Uh, it's fogging up, so let me leave it out here a minute. I'll be right back. There we go. Absolutely gorgeous. You can hear I'm up on deck six right above the ocean plaza. You can hear the music. But not in your cabin, really. And she's really good, anyway. Oh, it's so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Good morning. Look at that. I had to put you on my phone because the camera is so fogged up. Look at that. Can you see that right there? Oh, they have the music very loud on the ship this morning. When I went down to the uh, buffet to get coffee, it was extremely loud. So we're going to hear it. mountains. What do you call them? They're on the island. I don't know, but look, you can just see them under the clouds on that side. They're quite tall over there. I wouldn't call them hills. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I don't know if that's Honduras. It, maybe it is. I don't know. I am not your geography expert. Oh, look, the sun is coming back. say hello to you. It's 5.15? Interesting, I thought it was later than that. 5.15 a.m., 77 degrees outside somewhere. It is Tuesday the 6th of July, and we are coming into Roatan, Honduras, and um, I, I'm excited. We're gonna have a good day. So we're gonna snorkel with the starfish and the shipwrecks and uh, have a beach break and let's just have a great day. So I will see you in a little bit. This is a good day, yes, I need to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many when the old one's gone under the knife. And I can feel the sun. On my skin Beginning to thaw From within Today and not tomorrow There's no time to buy This is amazing. Uh -huh. This is really cool. You gotta come do this. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. 
That's all right now. Have fun, babe. I shall. You can enjoy. Enjoy for the back here. How was it? It was awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you went. Thank you for filming for us. No problem. All of that rice in back here is Honduras. There's a couple of islands right before there, which is Hog Island and Swam Island. Most known as Cayos Cochinos. Today they are filming Temptation and Survival on the bigger island there. Uh, this is French Harbor, the capital of the industry on Rotan. Wednesday the 7th of July, it is 75 degrees outside somewhere, how are you today? To be honest with you, I've already been down, nope, I need to go up, I've already been up and gotten two cups of coffee at 5 o'clock this morning, so I'm going in for my second batch of coffee. <laughs> so, we are in Belize today. And we are swimming with sharks today, but that's okay. I'm gonna be a big girl. I can do this. All right, take eight. We have to go to ten. <sighs> this has been a great cruise. Great cruise. I've enjoyed going live from the ship. Used to, we would only go live on boarding day. And in Alaska, we started going live throughout the cruise. And I gotta tell you, I really enjoy it. It's so fun to interact with you guys. <sighs> Y'all are a lot of fun. And you keep me laughing and entertained. Thank you. All right. for a little while. Look at that beautiful turquoise blue water. Now, the discoloration here is because it's stirred up from the ship. You can see. See it all the way up. It's drifted all the way over there. Oh, look, the blue bird floating. Good morning. Yeah, he is. He's just gliding because we're not moving. We have, we are still now. So I believe we are anchored. I'm not 100%, but um, I'm sure that either if we aren't, we're about to be. Um, because Belize is a tender port, so or a water shuttle, depending upon what you prefer. All right, so, wow, it's really stirring up now. I mean, that's like mucky, muddy water. That's sand, not mud, but you know. Anyway, but you can see the regular color of the water out there, how beautiful it is. So, um, yeah, today we are swimming with sharks, huh? And stingrays. And stingrays. Two of your favorites. Anyway, um, so once the regular vlog series is posted, uh, you can watch me swim with sharks and stingrays. Yes, it'll be a great time. Huh. Anyway. And then going to Cape Cockner for some beach time and just have a great day. Yeah.
swam with the sharks and I would do it again. It was amazing. The vlogs are gonna be amazing. I, I can't wait, I can't wait myself to see the footage because you're in the moment and I just, I wanna see, I can't, I can't wait to see. So there you go, there's your little spoiler for that. There we go, look, see? Anyway, you guys, this has been such a great cruise. I'm super excited to have dinner with Sharon at sea tonight, Sharon and Jamie, and we, I'm gonna have salmon and they're making me a carnival melting cake. I had a pineapple smoothie, smoothie thing at, at, whoops, in port today. I've had tons and tons of fruit on this trip and uh, it shows. But that's okay, I've enjoyed it. And on a cruise, I tell you all the time when we're traveling, I not always in the camper, but when we're traveling on a cruise and things like that, I indulge, I enjoy my eating. And um, obviously I can't eat gluten. And I have to be careful, I do react to the grains, the gluten-free grains that I'm eating. But um, you know, I'm not gonna live in complete and total deprivation. And um, I'm gonna live a little while we're cruising and I will suffer the consequences probably for the next month. I still haven't recovered from adventure, indulging on adventure. And I don't, I'm not talking about weight gain. I'm, I'm talking about, you know, pain, discomfort, swelling, there's inflammation, things like that. That's what I'm talking about. So, okay. All right, I am going to zhuzh who, who, who says that? Zhuzh, Marnie, zhuzh up this hair a little bit and head out the door. <laughs> Good morning. Probably gonna be foggy. I've had my camera sitting out here for like 20 minutes and it's still fogging up. It is 6.46 a.m. Thursday, the 8th of July. Good morning, how are you? Look at that spectacular sunrise this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. She has made her presence known and we are so grateful to see her absolutely beautiful the last few times we are headed into Cozumel today and the last few times we've been to Cozumel it has been rainy and overcast and cool out you know in the 70s low low 80s and uh, I'm excited for the Sun today very excited I see birds so we I can see land over here as well so we must not be too terribly far um, I think we're due in port 830 ish nine something like that so the ship's been a little rocky last night but nothing uh nothing uncomfortable i thoroughly enjoyed it y'all know i like the ship to rock just a little bit i like to know i'm on the ship so uh i love it absolutely love it this cruise has been amazing amazing we had dinner last night with uh we had dinner last night with Jamie and Sharon. It was fantastic. I was my normal rambly weird self, you know. I get nervous and then I talk about, I think a lot of us do that though. You know, I'm not just, I'm not bashing myself. I just, you know, I think a lot of us do that when we get nervous, women in particular. When we get nervous, we tend to just ramble on about nothing. That has absolutely nothing to do with the conversation just because you get nervous and then something comes out of your mouth and you're like, why did I talk about that? That's me. I do that a lot when I get nervous. The inside lens is fogged up. So we just have to wait for that to unfog. And by the time it does, it will be time to go inside. Oh, she's so beautiful. I love it when it peeks behind a cloud like that. So pretty, so pretty. Anyway, so Jamie and Sharon were fantastic. They were kind, they were, they listen to me ramble. Anyway, so we're going to be going live today, later on this afternoon. And um, the live's been going really well. You guys have been watching it. And I can't, I can't even express to you how grateful I am. It's so good to be back cruising. It's so good to be back on a carnival ship. And it's so good to be back vlogging and cruising from our home port. I love cruising from Galveston. I love just being able to drive to the port, get there and hop on a ship. I just, it's just so nice. So, and I have to tell you, yesterday was frustrating. It was frustrating, but here we are going up again. I'm sorry. It's so frustrating because I, I know it's terrible picture quality. Let's switch to my phone, hang on. Very appreciative. Oh. There we go, 
that we got to go back and uh, get on an excursion at all. I mean, seriously, we got to go out off the coral reef, off the barrier reef, and, and swim sharks. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. I, I'm not going to stop talking about that forever because I absolutely loved it, and I can't wait to do it again. which also posted to Facebook, we had to share this. This place is absolutely beautiful. We are on a carnival excursion, and I gotta tell you, we've never seen water this beautiful in Cozumel before. It's absolutely stunning. We just went snorkeling and loved every minute of it. Look at that, stunning. We are home, or back, it's home home for the last for the next day the last six days seven days six days something like that anyway I'm exhausted we just went down the water slides I've had enough Sun yep it's seven weeks until we cruise again this is not the there's Robert this is not the end of this vlog series but um, Rob's watching uh, Sharon and Jamie they're live from earlier today in Cozumel anyway so if you haven't seen that go watch it all right, so we are back in the room. We are going to change clothes and I'm gonna have to go live with this hair because I don't have time to take a shower and then I'll just take a shower afterwards, which might work out for the better anyway because, I mean, you're gonna get all hot and sweaty standing up on that deck outside anyway. So, all right, yes, I've had enough sun. It's seven weeks until our next cruise and um, one week until we camp. So, yeah, I'm gonna stay out of the sun and quit eating all the things until then. <laughs> What a hectic afternoon. It has been a very hectic afternoon. Okay, I am dressed and ready for the evening. It is 719. So um, if you watch the live, you'll know why. I'll leave it linked right up here. You'll know why it was a hectic afternoon for me. My hair is crazy. We have to open the door and turn on the fan and blow dry my hair because it keeps setting off the smoke alarm. I figured out when I use this Alterna and the CC Alterna CC cream, my hair smokes a whole lot more. But to me, that indicates it may be a better heat protectant. But this time I used the Colleen Rothschild shampoo conditioner, which I used, I think yesterday also. Y'all, my hair is so soft. It's unbelievable how soft my hair is. Shampoo, conditioner, or it's a, it's a, conditioning treatment but I use it as conditioner every time I wash my hair I think a lot of people do um, and then the styling it's not the cream it's a liquidy oily kind of it's this this one fantastic uh, I've been recommending this forever I'm just trying the shampoo and conditioner on this cruise okay Robert is waiting for me we are going to head off and have a nice evening on the ship so I will see you later on tonight or tomorrow morning for coffee our last coffee morning no there'll be one more disembarkation day we'll have coffee together always good morning it is 8 35 hold on 8 35 july 9th friday the 9th it's the last sea day i didn't show you coffee this morning i've had several cups of coffee i've been up since four o'clock we didn't go to bed till after one I'm a walking zombie, mainly because I'm just, I don't know, I, I'm not sleeping when we're traveling. Yesterday was a stressful day um, for our son back at home, and it just was a, anyway, so I didn't sleep very well, but that's okay. Today we're going to head on out and do a little exploring around the ship, eat a lot, and um, yeah. And in just a minute, I will show you what we picked up in Cozumel yesterday. I never showed you, well... The plate is wrapped and I don't want to unwrap it. So I'll insert a little video footage of it right here. That way you can see it. Um, and um, then I'll show you the other two things we picked up. So there you go. All right, we're gonna go get this day moving and started. I missed a beautiful sunrise this morning. I was sitting right here on the couch talking to my son and um, 
missed it completely. But it was absolutely one of the most beautiful ones I think we've had all week, but that's okay. There'll be more sunrises and more cruises. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, as promised, here are the surfboards that we have been talking about picking up in Cozumel for quite some time now. Um, we just think they're so pretty. They are hand painted and um, we just think they're beautiful. They're just that MDF board, you know. So hopefully they'll be fine outside on our patio um, for a while anyway, until we need to pick up new ones. So there you go. It's absolutely beautiful. I just love them and we've wanted them for a long time. So, all right. You can see the 91. Let's see, this one is 991. So they're nowhere near as marked down as they were on Adventure of the Seas. So this one is 98. And y'all may be sitting there going, that is such a great price. It's, I'm not in my budget. That's not. Forty-seven down from ninety-four. Okay. Good morning. It is five fifteen. Five fifteen. Saturday, the tenth of July. I'm going the wrong way. After seven days, you don't think I would do that anymore. It's time to get some coffee. It is disembarkation day. It's the last morning to go and get coffee together. But that's okay. We have a cruise coming up on August 30th. I'm excited that we're going camping next week. We have, I get to see my kids today. It's still all good. So I'm going to go get some coffee. And we'll see you in a minute. The sun is not up yet, so we're going to go on the balcony in just a little bit. The ship is running a little behind because of the currents, so we won't be in yet. Oh, it's raining. Wow. You can see the rain right there. You can smell it. <laughs> oh, my glasses are fogging up. Wow. Welcome back. Well, almost. We're running late into port because of currents but it has done nothing but monsoon and rain at home since we've been gone. So the kids have messaged and said it's just been very wet and disgusting at home. I would have loved it. Okay, well, we're packed. It's 6.48. We're gonna go get some breakfast. I'm going to enjoy my last indulgent fruit breakfast this morning. Are you ready, Mr. Fenwick? Yep, that was an amazing cruise. It really was. Um, so, we're not ready to go. I gotta tell you, the difference is really kind of funny because here in Texas, they play country music on the ship. Everywhere. But on other ships, you don't hear any country music. I just think that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they're reading their crowd, although we don't listen to country music, no, so. They know their clientele. Yeah, so, but we're not country music people. I mean, I listen to the old stuff, like Garth Brooks and Shania Twain. I don't know if you would even consider her country. welcomed us home this morning with a blow of the horn. That was really fun. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. We are back in the car. We're on our way home. You know what that means. We get back into town. We immediately go home and have Tex-Mex. <laughs> Chips, queso, pico de gallo, salsa, 
cheese enchiladas, you name it, we're gonna have it today. And all the kids are gonna be home and it's very exciting. So thank you so much for watching this sneak peek. I will leave all of the clothing, jewelry, things we've talked about, things I've mentioned, linked down in the description box if they are available. They will be down in the description box. Just click show more and it'll be down in there. So uh, do know in advance, most of them will be affiliate links. It will not be an extra charge to you. It's just a very teeny, t oh, oh, there was something in the road. Teeny tiny commission that helps support the channel. It goes right back into buying cameras and equipment and things like that. So thank you very much in advance. I appreciate it. Software, that's the next upgrade. So, <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. As soon as the live, or excuse me, as soon as the videos are live, I will. they will be linked up here. You just click that little circle and down they'll drop and you can go and watch them. I'll also try and remember to update the description box so you can click there for the um, Carnival Vista vlog series. In the meantime, we do have other Carnival Vista vlogs up on the ch channel. So thank you so much for joining us. Please give this video a thumbs up and I know this was a long one. I know it was. It's seven days in one video with a lot of information. So I appreciate your time and I appreciate you watching, truly. And I have had such a good time sharing this week with you guys. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, up next, Carnival Magic and Carnival Mardi Gras, side to side, August 30th, 2021. So